How's it going guys? It's Joe. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you another Grand Arena video. Now I know I haven't been doing many videos lately of Grand Arena. I've just had a really busy lifestyle unfortunately, but this has been one of the more interesting videos that I'm going to show you today. So we're going to be going against Solo. Uh, he's pretty high in GP, although we're matched in the top 80. He's got a little bit more relics, we're pretty matched in rank. And I've got a little bit of an edge in lifetime banners. Although he's got more offensive wins than I do. As well as undersized wins. Now in terms of mods, I've got a little bit of an edge there. In terms of plus 20 speed. And he's got more Zetas than me. So this gentleman definitely has much more experience uh, in terms of the rounds. And it's going to be interesting as I actually placed my Supremely the Kaloran on defense. And I only have one Galactic Legend. Whereas he has Rey, Kylo and Luke. It's a pretty strong lineup here. Looking at the front walls. He's got Luke here at the bottom with Ki Adi Mundi, so that should be an interesting matchup. Um, although he's just at 4 stars at this stage. On the bottom line is a Newt led Separatist. Got Bounty Hunters here at the top. So I'm, I'm presuming there's going to be a Galactic Legend in the back line at some stage. So we're going to have to save our Galactic Legend counters. So in this first match, we're going to go for this Luke lineup. And we're going to use a, our um, Darth Revan team here without Bastila Shan Fallen. So firstly, I'm going to use Insanity on the leader. And I quickly get to my uh, death mark there. So I'm able to quickly get rid of Qui-Gon. And now I'm going to try and apply Shock as much as I can on the field, quickly get rid of Kai Adi Mundi. And the problem with Luke here is he counterattacks really often and he does a ton of damage. So we're gonna try avoiding hitting him up until the end here. And as you can see he's doing so much damage. And now we're going to start working on Luke here. We lose Sith Empire Trooper there. Unfortunately, I'm stuck behind this taunt. So I have no choice but to drop old Ben. I'm going to try and cycle around and hopefully get to our assassinate as quickly as possible. And we've got him for 200k damage there. Not the best in terms of banners. Now against this Newt lineup, I decided to use my CLS team here. As I didn't think I would have to use CLS against any other team at this point. So we're going to quickly get rid of Dooku. I'm going to dispel the taunt. Get stealth on all of our characters here. And we get resisted there as we've got a lot of tenacity up on the field. Going to get rid of Geo Brood Alpha. And we've removed damage immunity. So we can quickly get rid of Droidica. So this guy's definitely placed a lot of unorthodox defensive squads. And it makes it just that little bit more interesting. As I've had to change up my structure in my offense. I'm actually quite happy that I was able to save my CLS and my Bounty Hunter team as you're about to see after I get rid of Django and Newt. Get about 56 banners there. So 
So in the back walls, it looks like we've got a Hux lead and Night Sisters. So that's a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren under a Hux lead, although it doesn't have the ultimate ability. A couple of months ago, I made a video about a counter against this particular squad, and it's actually a Bastila Shan led Jedi. Although now it's probably not as viable as when I attempted that back then. Kylo Ren didn't have his ultimate and he didn't have his buff. So we're gonna try that exact same lineup that I used with old Ben and Hoda and just hope for the best. So with Bastila Shan lead, we're able to get the early taunt on old Ben. We're going to quickly mark Sith Trooper here and we're going to pass his second ability on to Gas. Kylo uses the ult there and we're, they're able to quickly proc that um, savior on old Ben. Although we're doing a ton of damage here with Gas, we're able to get rid of that um, TIE pilot. And with the second ability, we're actually able to get rid of Hux here as well. So it's interesting to see that this counter still works as long as um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren isn't on the leader slot. We're able to apply a ton of damage. We've got Armor Shred here on Kylo Ren Unmasked. And we get a solid 60 Bano win. The problem with a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren lead is if you've got two taunting tanks, um, potentially those two tanks will always have taunt. Although you have um, Jedi Knight Revan on your team and you've got Mark, you've still got a lot to go through. And the advantage on the opposing team just keeps getting procced as well. So it makes it so much tougher and it, it's made Hux lead much less viable rather than a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren lead. Against this First Order team here, I utilized my Treya lead with Bastila Shan and Nihilus as I've had to um, split up my Sith teams here with Vader and um, Palpatine. At this point, I'm just looking to control this team, try and get as much ability block out there as I can. I'm going to place Isolate on OG Kylo. And I'm going to whittle away at First Order Executioner's health and protection there. Keep applying ability blocks. And I finally get to my Annihilate. So it looks like this gentleman actually saved his Ray team on offense. And he must have utilized that team against my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on defense. And I'm just slowly dropping all of these characters. Pretty straightforward fight here. Wampa's just here to apply some days. I'm going to try and get as much of my banners as I can. Solid 60 banners there and I'll take it. So as of late guys, I've been going against a lot of um, high ranked players as well. And I haven't been winning a ton of my GACs unfortunately. As clearly those guys are much better than me in terms of their roster and skill. I really love using this Bounty Hunter team here guys, it's so much fun having Mando and Grief Karga here. 
and it's so good against Night Sisters. So we're going to try and get to our payouts here. We've weakened Zombie enough so that he's our primary target here to get to our payout. And our Bounty Hunters are really tanky at this point. We're going to ap apply Ability Block on Darker there, as well as um, Mother Talzin. Pass the assist onto Bulba. And we get our payouts here. I was going to try and use Execute on Old Darker there, but she's pretty tanky with higher relics. So I'm going to eliminate Mother Talzin first. So she's not going to get any revives. And we're going to go for Old Darker next. At this point, Mother Talzin is pretty low. Dengar's third ability allows for us to replenish a ton of protection as well, so I like having Dengar on this team. And we're actually going to get to our um, Disintegrate here for a second time. And look at that, execute 100k damage on Asajj Ventress there. And we're, we're going to be able to target Night Sister Spirit here for that Disintegrate. And look at that, that's an amazing 60 banners there. Against a decently relic Night Sister team. So that's a very interesting um, defensive team there guys, he's got a Poggle lead with some droids and Pogel does have a little bit of synergy with the droid faction on his leadership however Vader is just absolutely gonna decimate all of these characters here with Wat Tambor's weapon tech as you're about to see I'm just picking and choosing my target at this point Culling Blade on IPD there for 250k damage. And that basic just absolutely destroys Poggle. And really, um, the only characters that mattered here were Vader and Wat Tambor. Although with a little bit of help from Emperor Palpatine's leadership, we got a ton of turns on Vader there and a ton of turn meter. So moving on to the last battle here. I was looking to use my resistance team, however, I did use some of them on defense. And I've had to cut up my 501st team as well, as I've had to use gas against the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So I just utilized my Night Sister squad here for Bounty Hunters. And I've got to say it worked out decently well, although it's to be expected that we're going to lose a ton of banners here once Dengar gets going, which will be a bit unfortunate, but He's hidden, hidden under stealth at the moment. It's going to be tough to get to him. And it's really interesting, guys, how the meta shifts so quickly in this game in terms of GAC. As you can see, in a span of a couple of months, now we've got Luke, we've got Galactic Legends, and it just makes the game so much more interesting as... Before Galactic Legends came out, I was actually doing so well in GAC. And now, unfortunately, I'm not doing as well as I've had to adjust my offense and defense to try and suit my Galactic Legend counters as well as my loop counter. So it's definitely getting tougher. 
and I'm working my way towards Ray, so hopefully that helps in my next couple of GACs. And hopefully the second time Luke comes around, I'm able to get him as well. And lastly here, we're just going to be utilizing our negotiator team here against the Malevolence squad in the back line. So nothing fancy here, I'm just going to try and cleanse off all those buzz droids. Pass a bit of turn meter on everyone. And we've got um, a couple more buzz droids on Houndstooth there. However, we've got the third ability from Plo Koon that can cleanse that off. Which is pretty awesome. And we're just chipping away at Hyena Bomber here. And this is where it sort of gets a little bit rough and rocky as if they've got a Millennium Falcon on the other side, on the other team and you've got a bunch of Vulture Droids you've got to get to it's really hard to get to the Falcon as quickly as possible and Geonosian Spy is an amazing ship guys it just bypasses um, your taunting tank and unfortunately, it targeted my Anakin at that point. And I lost Anakin. And he's also hidden under stealth. And I couldn't get past that. And the Malevolence was actually able to get that EMP out. Before I was able to beat down the Geonosian Spy. So overall, a very exciting, exhilarating GAC, guys. Um, I typically don't place my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on defense, as I usually save him as my Galactic Legend counter, but I'm glad that I was able to soft counter that Galactic Legend team towards the end. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content, guys, as always, and I will see you on the next one.